It is your turn. It is your no. Go. Somewhat quietly, Rutgers entered the Big Ten and came with a very, very nice eight-win season. But the East is going to be tougher, and it's going to take a lot more work this year to make any more noise. Here's the deal with the 2015 Scarlet Knights. Leonte Carew and all the receivers are back, so there's firepower returning as long as the quarterback situation is settled early on. The ground game's going to be fine, too. Everyone who finished with a positive running comes back. But the defense that struggled so much has the most work to do, especially in the secondary after losing three starters. However, there are plenty of options coming back. Leading tackler Steve Longer returns, but four of the top six and five of the top eight tacklers are all gone. And unfortunately, to win in the Big Ten, you got to be able to stop the run, and Rutgers didn't do that, finishing 106th in the nation, allowing 212 rushing yards per game. Fortunately, with Washington State, Penn State, and Kansas State in September, the stats are going to look really great, and then reality is going to set in. The Scarlet Knights, they start out the October part of the schedule against Michigan State, and they close it out with Ohio State and Wisconsin, and that's when the run defense numbers are going to rocket up the other way, with Nebraska to deal with, along with Wisconsin from the West, and the Indiana game on the road, it's going to be really, really tough to come up with a Big Ten win. So look for a big fallback year with four wins. I'm Pete Futak. To dive deeper into the 2015 Scarlet Knights, check out the written preview on Campus Insiders.